Testing, ein Schwein 3. Works perfectly. I'm still not German, by the way. We should load the DBS BS. That's a lot of BS. Um, thing, and we should now continue with the versus the broadsword battles. Welcome back, meine Damen und Herren, meine Freund und uh, um, Kartoffelmensch. On the first glorious team, we have the broadsword as usual. And on the other team, we have, let's see here, which one is it? Maybe we should have a short little recap here. Uh, battleships, what the hell is the Draconia doing in here though? It, one second. Anyways, Coffee Zombie, winner. And Necreas, loser, looks LSP. Loser, Flash, winner, Nova Galaxy, winner. Um, then we're gonna have the version two there, and here we have Sean Reed, winner, and then we have Saito Shepherd, loser, and then we're going to continue with Fabian Two V. Oh my God, Halibird. So um, gonna select that thing, and there we are, Fabian. Uh, 2v oh my god halibird one this beautiful thing which seems to be i thought it was stone for a second but it's just my low settings uh, versus the broadsword so let us activate see what kind of happens next and seems that uh, we could only see the color scheme for a little while because um, i'm guessing those beautiful colors were fleet colors Anyways, oh lord, that's that's a dangerous volley. Whoa, looks like Fabian shed a huge turret here. Darn, that's brutal. The broadsword is more damaged, however. Bonk. And it's for some reason mooning the enemy. What are you doing, broadsword? Turn around your broadsides. You're not strong from behind. God. Oh, lords. Interesting. My AI seems to be... Uh, what should we say? A little bit retarded right now. What is it doing? Come on, start turning. The broadsword is down to uh, oh, 87 percentages. And why is it escaping the enemy? This is weird. You know, the broadsword is set up to be able to fight the enemy at close distance as well. So here we have a pretty interesting like laser turret going on there too. And Fabian's 2v oh my god Halibird is still at 94% and the broadsword is down to 80%. Oh, it looks like it's AI dead. Oh, damn. It is AI dead. Poor thing. It's dropping heavily. It's finally getting into broadside range, but there is no AI home. Oh, no. This is a hard loss for the broadsword. Play funeral music. I don't have any. Anyways, for, for one in the lifetime, should we use the in-game music? Um, I think so. There we go. Beautiful. Anyways, good job Fabian. To the oh my god. The Halibird is... The winner very nice so then we can uh, jump out of this battle we still clearly see that this thing is despawning oh no oh no oh no it couldn't deal the amount of damage i thought it had a chance to be honest but it didn't and there we go it's upside down i'm just gonna put it out here uh, fabian's halibird is 1.2 million which is the absolute upper limit for this tournament by the way it's exactly, <laughs> it's exactly 1.2 million.
Next up we have Fernando Pavez, Libertad Libertad Capital Battleship, which is uh, 300,000 materials less than the previous contestant. And we are quickly going to look at it before the color scheme and everything might disappear, we never know. Interesting little turret neck there. We have some anti-missile uh, or cram systems. We have some cool little missile launchers there. I must say there is a lot of cute turrets on this thing. Let's see if it will deal some damage too. It has anti-torpedo systems as well, so that's cool. Yeah, anyways, let's unpause the game. It turned gray, but it still has the cool camo. Alright, so what's happening here? It's lining up for a broadside. Oh, did it, did it damage something important? It didn't. A lot of them bounced. The broadsword is in the lead in terms of materials, but it doesn't mean much right now. And the broadsword is somehow leaning away a little bit. That's weird. And seems we have some missiles. Ooh, the broadsword is shedding wooden blocks like a madman. What is it doing? Why is it facing the back to the enemy again? Might it be so that the broadsword's uh, efficiency has uh, heavily decreased since the update that made maneuverability less good? I haven't thought about that. Maybe I should have kind of uh, fixed the broadsword a tiny little bit to make it a little bit more maneuverable before these battles. Anyways, let's follow this broadside here. We did some damage. Thought that turret looked a little bit weak. Now it's gone. Anyways, let's stand around here for the more classical uh, battleship view. Fernando Pavez is down to 95% and the broadsword is still at 99%. It's repairing for sure. Oh no! I don't think these missiles have an understanding about uh, avoid... Uh, I don't think they have a failsafe. They're shooting itself. They're kind of weak probably, but anyways. Was... We missed a big explosion or something? I don't know. It's really keeping its distance here. Boom! Here we got some heavy explosions going on there. We can see it's shedding. Shedding a lot of APS blocks there. One of the barrels is... Super mini gauge. It got very sad. I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if any of my uh, torpedoes reach the target. What? Oh, are they trying to hunt for the cram shells? Aha! That's interesting. Fernando is at 91 percentages. Oh god damn it, you're so lucky that my turret I forgot to set up um, movement accesses. Oh come on, that's just so stupid. My main turret doesn't work because it's ah oh, that's so retarded. The AI can be so retarded in this game. God damn it, what it's oh My main turret is not functional. Our main turret is what would efficiently damage this ship. Erg! That's annoying. I should have checked that more. 
Yeah, well, anyways. Maybe I'm going to apply a few fixes to the broadsword and meet the winners after we've gone through everyone's. Because everyone is, of course, meeting the workshop version. This is the sad work workshop version and it obviously needs some fixes. But um, we'll, we'll go through all the battles without showing uh, doing any of those fixes for sure. My cram broadside is still a kind of strong boy, so um, it does some damage. And the, uh, the the cute tiny shells coming in there, they do some damage too. You can see uh, like metal blocks are getting deleted from it hitting, so um, regular good old stuff or um, they shall sail cannons are not to be underestimated mine Damen und Herren. Um, God damn it. You know what? I should set up the main AI to target uh, blocks underwater, rather, because it's missing too often. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> and they're kind of uh, accurate, too. Fernando Pavez is down to 87% with the Libertad battleship. So, we shall see what is happening right away. Another cram broadside came in and that looked like it popped off a big chunky turret. And are we running at ground? Oh, looks like Fernando is trying to run and ram into the land. How will it go? I can't reach with my uh, harpoons. I think he's trying to escape and uh, that's probably smart because the broadsword is best at close distances. I think we took out another of the turrets. There we got some internal explosions here. It's repairing for its life. But it's starting to tilt. Why is it tilting? Is it because of the harpoons? I think it's because of the harpoons, yeah. Another thing is that my anti-air system actually engages its, its own harpoons. And that's kind of stupid. Uh, I forgot about that too. Alright. Oh, that looked important. That's a lot of important blocks there, maybe. Who knows? Maybe it was just metal. Or alloy, rather. It seems to be more alloy on this build. A, c a good chunk of alloy on uh, the broadsword as well, to be honest. And that's just because, uh, you know, we're a little bit top-heavy otherwise. We we have a weird shape. Um, is it going to go on ground? It might. Interesting. <laughs> We just have so many lines attached to this thing now. <laughs> I'm betting that my shields have problem to keep up because probably all this lines uh, engine power is a little bit too much to handle, isn't it? Maybe I actually remembered to balance that. Is the broadside running at ground? Who knows? It has this little deep going bit. Oh lord, this will be a little bit too exciting. Well, it's getting its nice broadsword out, broadside out. The broadsword is getting its nice broadside out. Are we going to turn before we crash? Bam, ba, da, bam. Very amazing. You can see how little profile in the water it has. Isn't it very funny that this big chunker goes this? <laughs> it's like dips its toe into the water. Seems like the broadsword is actually trying to navigate out of the land. Looks like Fernando did not set up uh, land avoidance properly. And uh, since he decided to run away against this, uh, towards this area, it seems that this little simple setting is indeed uh, one of the definite demises of the Fernando Parves Libertad Capital battleship. Amazing. The broadsword gets a win. Nothing to expect. It's a weird build, you know. Oh, 
All right, 73%. I'm feeling this battle is... Um, I don't know if anything more interesting will happen by now, because, you know, it's like... Uh, it's just sitting there and, like, being generally sad. And this shulker is just... Uh, tugging around here and just being... Uh, existing. Alright. And the anti-missile missiles, they swarm around in the water like crazy. Or anti-torpedo torpedoes, I should say. What's happening here? Low gauge fire does nothing. Cram bounces, cram misses. Do I have detection problem? Oh yeah, I forgot. Our main cannon, which didn't work for a really long time, is finally back with some proper action, so that's nice. Oh yes. If I fix the broadsword uh, for like more of the battles, I will definitely change the shell out to something else. I don't really know which shell we're gonna do with, but uh, I think we need something more efficient than just a heavy head like that. You can see it pops in there. Um. But it feels like it doesn't do uh, too much damage. 71. One of the small turrets are still fighting valiantly. Doesn't help too much, but uh, in any case. Boom, boom, boom. 70%. Go, damn it. Fernando Pavez Libertal Battleship does have a very good like resilient armor I must say it takes ages to kill this thing and it's just metals with holes with metal with holes so I guess that kind of makes sense it almost feels like you can walk around on this but well it's a stranded beast uh, it didn't uh, really understand the uh, reasoning behind you know let's just uh, let's just what this Broadsword? Oh no, what is happening here? This is so stupid. W what are you doing? You have engine power though. Is it is it all those lines? Are we too attached? Do we have an attachment issue here? It feels like we do have a kind of attachment issue. I think that the harpoons want to kind of haul in, and the AI is thinking, Nope, this is too ground, let's get out of here. Oh man. This looks so stupid. Do uh, Does this cram... Uh, do my cram cannons have an angle to shoot at? Or what is happening? This is just weird. Oh, are we... Are we running away? Are we going? Are, are we going to resort to the ass crams? These are anti-air crams, by the way. So they look shonky, but they're really not. They're meant to do like area of effect damage in the air with timed fuses and stuff like that. And this ship is basically just a sitting duck here, and the broadsword is slowly eating away on it. Yeah. Look at this sad sight. Oh my god, it's just ground here. It kind of tried to drag itself onto there. So now we're grounded at different areas. And this is just the most sad battle ever. Oh. It's like this cannon. It can shoot. So we're like slowly doing damage. Uh, the broadsword is apparently up to 100% now, so that's nice. 
I really like that my AI kind of avoided the land, but then the then the harpoons decided uh, otherwise. But to be honest, uh, I'm I'm going to judge that the broadsword is winning this battle because we're at 100%. We are still doing damage towards the Libertad battleship. Um, we also have more materials than uh, Libertad battleship. We have... Ooh, wait a second. Yeah, we have kind of the double. So it's not kind of likely that uh, Libertad battleship will be able to recover enough to start shooting back anytime soon. Oh look, the anti-cram cannons. Anyways. Um, yeah. We are going to decide that uh, Broadsword is the clear winner of this thing because this ba no, this battle is officially too boring. Come on. Anyways, good game, cool ship. Um, it takes a lot of damage. We're already like uh, ten minutes, eleven minutes in this, and we usually end battles after ten minutes, so it's all fair. Moving on. Next up, we have Dead Pirate Lenny with Floyd. Uh, which is a 1 million ship So yeah The broadsword is right here and dead pirate Lenny's Floyd is right here. That's a tiny ship How can it be so tiny? What okay, let's let's play this thing. This is a 1 million ship It's kind of almost a submarine too. We have some detection in the stern there. It says Floyd on the underside. It uses these, whatever they are called, but they're kind of cool spin block stuff there to have maximum turrets. It has a lot of medium torpedoes. Medium missiles. Well, that's a miss. Whoa! We're shedding blocks! <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. What is happening? We have some pretty fast firing coming in against us here. Pom 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 pom. We're losing blocks here. Dead pirate! S Floyd is still at 100% and the broadsword is down to 93. Poor thing it just gets spammed by more than weapons and all we do is trying to have an honest proper broadside come on it's too far away too cowardly back cowardly bastard baka anyways uh, the EMP is frying some important bits there oh damn oh no I think it killed that turret poor thing Oh no, my main gun is already very sad. Look at that, it's gutted. I didn't even notice that. I think I think Dead Pirate uses some good penetration stuff. Oh no, I think our AI is uh, EMP'd. Yep, our AI is EMP'd. Good game. <laughs> That's a very clear win for Dead Pirate Lenny. Um, Obviously, the broadsword has some serious uh, EMP problems. We need to rubber line that area. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't protect well. Anyways, a good game. Uh, GG, dead part, Lenny. This this is a, a proper ship. We have railgun stuff going on there. It's probably some deep penetration. It's probably AP EMP. Um, the thing to use apparently the way to go they say anyways um good one there dp lenny is the winner of that one so let's move on what's our next battle the next thing for the broadsword to face is this thing this thing it's the secret advisors coordinator gigantua and as you can see, it's a kind of very cool shape of this ship, but damn, holy crap, it's one million by the way. Oh my god, this is insane. 
What the hell? The secret advisor. What have you brought to the battlefield, mate? What is that? It's too big. Come on. Come on, mate. This is just insane. Alright, so this is the broadsword. I thought my ship was big and what the hell? This is like... I don't know, can I fit 10 broadswords in there? I think I can. And it's 1 million build, it costs 1 million, so... Oh man, it's basically big empty spaces with wood inside of it. Uh, we have like wedges inside wedges with armor and APS and steam turbines and layers of wood and wood and more wood and oh god damn it. What a monster! What an absolute monster! And it's all wood! Oh man, I'm not looking forward to being faced with these. Ah, oh, that cannon looks scary! <laughs> it looks super intimidating. It looks like some kind of... Uh, I don't know, it looks like, like 20 science fiction. Oh man. Oh god. Oh no. Ah! No! Did you EMP me? Are my AI dead? Oh no! Or no! That's too bad. Come on, mate. Broadside, broadside. No! It's armor piercing EMP. It's out. It's already dead. Look at it. Poor thing. Uh Do we dare look inside here? I don't know if we do. Come on. Oh yes. Look here. There we had it. The EMP was it had it 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 is an armor piercing EMP. Everyone uses armor piercing EMP. It seems to be the only way to go, to be honest. Oh no. Did it nuke my other AI? I think it's somewhere in the ass compartment here. It's called aft. And this is called a bow, I believe. Oh, is our AI back? Come on! Broadside! No. What is happening here? God, this is a big shanka. Time. I'm going to be very surprised if we manage to win this thing. It doesn't look very likely. And it doesn't have any... Like... It doesn't have any missile protection, does it? No, it doesn't. That's... Oh, it's like a layer of wooden poles to defend against Hesh. And we also got layers of wood just to kind of... Uh, limit the effectiveness of the explosives. God damn it. Fortunately for us, this turret is uh, showing its uh, ass to us, so we don't have to. We don't have to be too sad, maybe. Our main turrets are still very much offline, though, so that's a little bit sad. It looks like our EM. It looks like the main AI is EMP'd again. It's just the AA uh, AI that's actually working. That's too bad. Ooh. So the brawl sword is at 88% and the secret advisor's woodenator gigantua is at 99.4%. Uh, I'm so sad that uh, we didn't spawn with our broadside towards the enemy. I feel that all of the battles would have been much more fair uh, in that scenario. Is our AI back online? No, that's the, that's the anti-air. Yeah. 
our anti-air AI is not nuked. That is good. How far are we from... Uh... Oh no. Sorry. Not wanna make you seasick or anything here. It's just that... I'm trying to... Here we got. No! You saw that? It spawned the AI and now it got removed again. Because we have so miserable EMP protection. Oh no. And our repair bots are nuked too. Oh no, I kind of thought that this little room with a lot of heavy armor would just kind of be automatically safe. Uh, and I couldn't be more wrong. Yeah. I'm... I think something important blew up there. This battle is slower than expected. And it's just because my AI is sad all the time. Very sad, actually. Oh no! That's definitely some pen depth uh, fun going on there. Oh no! How are we doing? Engineers, can you kind of prioritize repairing my AI compartment, mate? Or maybe not? Oh. So, how are we doing over here, then? We're doing great. Spamming those EMP shells. Really long tubes. Okay. Only got the auxiliary turrets going, really. But that's fine, too. It's, it's slowly trying to run away from me, except I harpooned it. Welp, we'll see what happens. My shields are so damaged that the shields are... No, engines are so damaged that the shields are flickering. A little bit there. It's just shedding blocks. Oh no. And the AI isn't getting repaired fast enough for it to be like not shot off again. So it's a, it's really quite sad. And I feel that the Woodinator Gigantua is also set up in a little way so it's a little bit sad because uh, only one of the turrets are working and the two like main turrets are actually like just sitting there and chilling. So that's kind of weird. Very cute superstructure though. It's like wood and everything. Alright, did we have a big explosion there? What's happening? Hmm. We have a lot of holes, that's for sure. Our broadside is not restored because the AI compartment is still... Oh god, that's extremely sad. Look at that thing. There's like nothing left here. Here we have an auxiliary AI and it's kind of... Uh... God damn it, why doesn't it control on the other channels? I need more AIs on this thing too. It's a 1 million build after all. Anyways, 73% for the... We are... Ooh, yeah. The advisor does do... The Woodinator Gigantua, I mean. Do a lot of damage, so they have a lot of materials going on for them. We only have like 80,000. And... We just can't repair the AI. So that's a little bit problematic. Problematic. Yeah, we definitely need more AIs. Uh, and god damn it, the firing rate of those turrets is like slow. They shoot all at once too and just destroy some stuff. Shedding blocks like a sad boy. Anyways. Yeah, that looked important. <laughs> 
We almost have trouble floating. Everything is offline. Oh. 68%. I'm pretty sure we can tell where this battle is going. And finally, all of the turrets are actually uh, online and firing here. So that's a little bit more exciting. Om. Broadsword down to 67. Secret Advisor still at 99 and has all the materials. Yeah. 66. And just a steady stream of uh, like micro damage going on there. I must say I'm a, a little bit... I need to fix this turret. It seems that we really need a layer of heavy armor for this cost because this does nothing. Yeah. Broadsword down to... 62 percentage units and it's looking very sad i'm starting to think that the ai might be damaged a little bit perhaps yeah this thing is definitely properly sad this is a proper sad thing poor it, it doesn't even have ammo left i don't know And each of these swarms are like uh, scary stuff going on there. Yep. Poof, 60%. I think uh, we just need like two hits more and we're probably down. This thing ain't recovering. I'll need to I'll need to fix this for real deal, like. Yeah. It's interesting to try your vehicles like uh, against so many different opponents and you really see what you can kind of uh, fix here. Anyways, we can re definitely write down that uh, uh, El Secreto Advisor is the winner of this thing. The broadsword is uh, looking very sad. I think I think the other AI finally went there, probably. Well, good job, the secret advisor, the Woodinator Gigantoa is uh, a clear winner. Took 10 minutes, god damn it. Anyways, next battle. Next up, we have Nasty Scrimps SS Mankar. So that will be interesting because it's uh, much cheaper, it's like 600,000. Um, so maybe the broadsword, which is like 1 million, but kind of uh, a weird build, uh, maybe the broadsword has a chance of winning this thing. And if the broadsword uh, doesn't win, Nasty Shrimp has, uh, Nasty Scrimp, I mean, has made a really good one. Since it's like half the cost, we kind of expect uh, the Mankar to lose, but we shall see indeed. Okay, interesting. APS, many barrels, superstructure there, stuff like that going on. I think it uses propellers to float, to be honest. Yeah, let us uh, begin this little battle here. We have vertical fire missiles. Whoops. Let's follow one of these medium missiles and see if our uh, miserable lamb... Oh no, our miserable lamb did nothing, but our uh, beautiful anti-missile missiles did. That's nice. Alright. The broadsword is getting into prime broadside action. Mankar is uh, doing good so far. We have equal percentages. Interesting. Ew, was that something important? That looked dangerous or sounded dangerous. Yeah, it's lobbing some uh, dangerous shells against us. That's for sure. We have a damaged steam engine there in the side. 
The broadsword's main turret has decided to get stuck again. Well, that's highly depressing. Oh no. Yeah, that's some dangerous shots right there. Our harpoons seem to not get into there. What is happening here, Broadsword? What was that? That was a bounce. Alright. SS Mankar. Oh, interesting little, little shield wall going on there. It's at 94, so the Nasty Scrimp is in the lead. Amazing. And it has a... Wow. It has like anti-cram system there. It, it, it shoots the incoming uh, cram shells with like uh, light, light fire. And it seems to take out some of them too. Well, that's good for it. Boink. Nasty Skimp is down to 86% and the broadsword is at 88. Oh, the tables have turned. The broadsword might finally win something here. And, well, the SS Mankar is like 600,000 and the broadsword is like 1 million. But, whatever, let's ignore that fact. Good job, broadsword. Very good. It looks like you are winning this thing because it might be so that the Nasty Skimp will take a tiny little bit more damage and will then decide to sink, which means this qualification. We shall see though. Well, we're sitting here with a sinking ship and seeing what happens. Look at that intimidating uh, silhouette at the horizon. Reminds me of my, uh, uh, like, Garry's Mod airship poem uh, cinematic stuff. You should watch it. Well, that's terrible aim for a harpoon, but okay. What happened there? Why does it uh, suddenly float again? That's weird. That That's... Did we kill the AI and now the AI came back again? Because it's only floating with the propellers? That was a close call, Nasty Scream. One cram hit there and you would have sunken down and got de-spawned. But no, it got recovered. The cannons are back online. Will the tables turn again, I wonder? Oh, we shall indeed see in a while. Yeah. Well, this turned interesting again. What's happening with the broadsword here then? Our little, uh, little uh, dipping toe is looking fine. Our side armor and stuff like that is looking quite sad. Many of the broadside cannons are looking quite sad. Our main gun that always dies is somehow alive and kicking. A broadsword, I think it's time to switch sides to be honest. Pium, pium, pium. All right. Broadsword is still at 86 percentages and the Nasty Scrimp's uh, SS Mankar is down to 77. So, oh, that's a superstructure popping off there. Yeah, well, those uh, small gauge, uh, not gauge like small pounder cannons do something it looks like the AI has gotten sad again you know what I think um, I think it will indeed spawn it's disqualified Poof. this is a clear win for the broadsword amazing here we can see the design of this thing too you know what? Nasty Scrimp, I think you should probably sh put some of these propellers to be uh, 
outputting full force all the time and not just uh, via the AI, like make them default on so that they can't be disabled and you sync like this. But anyways, uh, this time I'm kind of happy for this battle to not take that long time and a winning battle for the broadsword is a great, um, it's a great time to end this uh, particular little battle, I believe. So uh, with that said, I will say thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time because this is your host Jimodism and uh, we're signing out. We'll be back for more next time, um, probably next week with more of these battles. So, see you then and there. Bye bye.